Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Finally, 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 we're doing a pheasant hunt for y'all. And when I say finally, I've been wanting to pheasant hunt forever. I think it's been two full years since I have been. And here we are. We're at a very special place with some very special people. We got some awesome guests in town. Oh, and we got old Frederick. Love you, buddy. Killing me not him. Killing me him not being with me. But we're here. Morning. We're here with old P. Diddy. What's happening? I'm ready to kill some some upland birds today. I am ready, dude. It's gonna be a change of change of things for the viewers. I know. I know. Y'all have been here long before. This, this, uh huh. Tell tell them just a small rundown on it. Uh, small rundown. <laughs> uh, so my family bought this back in early 2000s and slowly built it up to what it is today but um here we are we're we're uh, gonna kill some upland birds today i guess exactly and on top of it not only are we at flint oak this place is flint oak in the flint oak in the flint hills of kansas not only are we here for pheasants but we got federal in with us they're here this is their annual trip with me they always come around the 21st 22nd of november uh flint oak offered preston and flint oak offered all of us to just come here for two days pheasant hunt then we're going to do a private land duck hunt and then we're going to head on back to the lodge for the third day hunt so just awesome big shout out to flint oak i'm going to show you guys through it real quick show you our room it is beautiful uh the accommodations are just insane the food everything oh here we are i'm telling you what this place is phenomenal. Oh, but here we are, old room 109. This is Preston and I's room. And I had to come get the old girl. Uh-huh. This place is just amazing. Uh, again, just big shout out to Flint Oak for having me and, and Federal out. So Federal, <clears throat> um, Long story short, Flint Oak has been shooting federal shotgun shells. They've had a corporate deal for a lot of years. So for me to be able to like make this happen, pretty big ac accomplishment. Just, uh, I can't take much credit for it. It was all Preston. So this is just right out our back door of our room. Check it out. Just, I mean, it's unreal. Yep, there's our room. If you guys have ever wanted to go to literally the nicest the grandest the most luxurious uh hunting lodge in the world pretty much look up flint oak i will link flint oak's website down in the description below uh, it's a great place for family it's a great place for a honeymoon it's a great place for anniversaries it's beautiful not only is the lodging uh the accommodations the food wonderful and amazing but the guides uh the whole hunting side of it is absolutely epic you guys are going to get a taste of it you guys are going to get a behind the scenes look at what all goes on so let's get to it i'm going to get my orange on and we're going to get out the door when i say nice literally all the wallpaper the floor everything is either pheasant hunting duck hunted or foil oak related so cool and it's like the one luxurious six star hotel in the world where you can carry your unloaded gun around and nobody looks at you all weird, you know? Everybody's pretty used to it. So let's go find the boys and uh, get saddled up here. This is fun. I'm having so much fun. Lucky. Don't try to avoid the camera. <laughs> <laughs> he did too. He was holding this back to me. Oh, we got old Big G here too. Man. And Dan. How we doing, buddy? Good. Good, Good travels? Yeah, we, yeah, doing well. Great and, day. and Rick. How you doing? You haven't been here since last year. Been a while. I'm glad you made great, it. Great to be back again. Yes, and his son, Ryan. Yeah. Good to have you back. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not this guy. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. All righty. Oh, do, do you need a sip? This is yours, so I'm going to finish it probably. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're ready to roll. Travis. Oh. Ryan. Well, it don't get much better than this. No, not really. <laughs> not really. Well, this is Ty. Ty, give him a little... What do you do here at Flint Oak, first of all? 
Uh, so I'm the operations manager here at Flint Oak. I've been here uh, five years now, and uh, we're about to go on a little bird hunt this morning. We're gonna go over uh, some general safety rules for the field, guys. And uh, first and foremost, a blaze orange hat and glass is gonna be required in the field at all times. Once we get out here to the cabana where we're gonna be parking, dig your guns out. Uh, make sure those actions are open or those guns are broke open if you're shooting a double gun till we assemble a straight line off uh, my fingertips in the field. At this point in time, we'll get our shotguns loaded up, uh, keeping those safeties on barrels pointing in a good safe direction. We'll be hunting uh, pheasant, quail, and partridge this morning. Hen and cock pheasants are legal. There are no limits. Uh, don't pass up on uh, anything you guys see today. Uh, be hunting behind pointing dogs. Once these dogs establish a point, we're gonna maintain our straight line. We're gonna push right through the point until those birds are flushed. Once those birds are above the horizon and in a good safe shooting window, we'll go ahead and harvest those birds. Shooting windows for you guys uh, are gonna be shooting 10 to two out the front, swinging to your outsides and 10 to two out the back. Uh, the gun in the middle will be shooting 10 to two straight forward only. Uh, if a bird were to get behind us, go ahead and sweep those guns to the outside just so you're not swinging it through the middle of the party. Get a good mark on down birds. I may not see something go down, especially on a cubby rise or whatever the case may be. Just get a good mark, I'll get dogs in there, get those birds cleaned up the best we can. Uh, no shooting on the ground, illegal in the state of Kansas. Definitely not permitted here at Flint Oak. Uh, don't be tempted to take a low shot or a shot at a settling bird that puts our dogs in danger. And policy at Flint Oaks, if you shoot a dog, you've just purchased that dog. So by keeping these shots up and away from the dogs, we'll all come back safe this morning. Uh, no gambling on bird numbers, no alcohol in the field. Uh, fellas, got any questions? Jeez, pretty, good. Words, pretty elaborate, huh? Seems like you've done that a few yeah. times. <laughs> yeah. First time today, Bobby. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. can tell. That's quite the rundown. <laughs> kind of covered every base known to man there. Uh, big shout out to Ty. Heck of a uh, heck of a guide out here. But eight dogs a piece. They got another dog trailer out back. All the puppies. So we're gonna be headed north right there. So we'll drop dogs and push that direction. Pointer. Her name's Blake. She, that's my personal dog. And. Uh, Right here in front of us is a uh, five-year-old English pointer. His name is Mac. Mac and Blake. So two, two nice dogs. Two good-looking dogs, I'll tell you what. Can you load it up already? No. Nope. We have one guy to the right. Uh, on a path to the right, right there. Once we get there, guys, go ahead and load our shotguns up. All right. Here we go. It's time to get rowdy, boys. And I haven't done this in a long time. We got old Preston, he's got the camera. He's got a mic on me. God, you've gotten all sorts of professional on us, dude. It's what just, happened? It's gonna get wild. This is just YouTube out here. I know. God, we're actually looking like something out here today. What's that double whistle? Just like a hunt em up type of? Yeah. Short, short enough. But it sounded like it meant go on point right there. Uh -huh. That's what they did. Well, the dog makes it easy work. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. And when they point like that, it makes you just want to run up to them and get there as fast as you can. It also makes you want to just walk slow and keep admiring it. Uh-huh. So cool. Keep so slide right on up the little fellas. Oh. 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 Woo, that was a big echo. That felt good. Dude, right here. Yeah. Ah, oh, nothing better than powder in the morning. Here, here. Oh, that a dog. Oh, that a girl. Here. Here, here, here. Look at that. First one of the day, boys. Yeah, buddy. Good tail to start the morning off. Yeah, it is. Well, if you guys are liking it so far, you know what to do. Come on now, smash that thumbs up. You guys got to get out here to Flint Oak and try this. This is, uh, this is unreal. Now the bird. Slide right on up with us here. Right. Here, here. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Nice shot, Gerald. This is awesome. This is awesome. Been steady filming for five minutes. Can't even cut the video off. Come here. 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 Good dog. Yeah, buddy. Not as big as the first one. Not as big. Got another pointer over here on the road. Oh. Oh, all you! Oh, Come on, give her two. <laughs> You're like it's too close, Bob. <laughs> this is wild. These dogs are so steady, so accurate. Ty, he's been doing this. 
guys, this is the place to go. It is amazing. Oh, got another bird up ahead. Man, this is a, some beautiful country out here. Gorgeous. Two shot wonder over here. They're just so close with that extended choke, you know. They're pretty good with conservation. <laughs> uh, that full choke boy at whatever yardage that is, I gotta let him get out there almost. Yeah, yeah. There yeah, we yeah. go. So yeah. cool. Well, we're out here, at the little here. creek. Dogs are getting a drink. Cooling off. Here, here, get a drink. Mac, get a drink. Oh, yeah. He goes, oh, here, yeah, Dad, here. that's some good stuff. Here, get a drink. Oh, oh. Nice shot. Oh, man, this is so much fun. Been forever since I've got out on a pheasant hunt at all. Got another one. Dog pointing up. 20 yards ahead. God, whole drusive. Yeah. Well, that was you? Gerald. <laughs> That's, yeah, you gotta be fast. Oh, I fluffed him and you guys backed Whoa. me up. Whoa. Yeah, buddy. How awesome she stayed on point too through that. Through the shot and everything. That's crazy. These dogs are just amazing. Oh, what? <laughs> Nice. Quail? Yeah, right over his back. I just about caught that thing. Got one quail down down there though? Good deal. Well, quail in the bag. Today, I always show you guys what I'm shooting. I'm shooting two and three quarter ounce and an eighth federal oh, and not shooting the quail. Wow, you got both of them without me. Yeah, well. <laughs> Like I would say, I was uh, ounce and an eighth federal load today. Wow, this right is amazing. Oh, those are gonna taste real good. Good shooting, Drew. I'm, I can't take the uh, cake on that one. <laughs> good shooting. Yeah. Dogs down over here. Thank no God way. you guys are here because I'm not doing hardly anything. Did you want to switch? <laughs> no, I'm good. They're both oh. rocking twenties, just no <clears throat> letting them eat. Okay. Well, we got a point. These dogs. Unreal. Uh, the only pheasant hunting that I ever did was as a kid in just public land. I think we shot a handful of them within a handful of hunts. I started pheasant hunting when I was nine and uh, we didn't get to do it very often because it wasn't that good, you know. Uh, we would walk for miles and miles and miles, probably just like a lot of you do, and never even see one. This uh, here at Flint Oak, this is this is amazing. Heck of a deal. The dogs make it easy, and here we go. <laughs> oh, oh. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I'll try it. There we go. Oh. No! Oh, we're about to see some feathers come over the top of us here. Woo! Old girl gave that one the one-two punch. My goodness. Oh, that boy is dead. Good lord. That's, yeah, that's an old throwback Dusty McAllen right there. These dogs are crazy right in front of me, just holding point. Unreal. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there you go. One down in the nice. right. Nice. They all went your guys' way. They all just went straight towards Gerald. I'm like, oh. Fetch it up. He's going to have some work on his hands over there. Whoa. <laughs> that was a good dog. That, that dog was on point. He picked the dog up, staying on point, and sat him back down. Unreal. Well, the dogs are getting another drink. Ty was uh, talking, he puts GPS collars on them, and usually they, he said uh, on a morning hunt they'll do 20 miles compared to R2. Uh, so it just shows how much these dogs work and they don't stop. It's gotta be more fun than duck hunting, huh, Bobby? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, it's a good change of <laughs> pace. Close. Yeah, it's a good change of pace, yeah, you know. That breaks the things up a little bit. Yeah, it gets me mobile, not sitting in one spot. Yeah. That's nice. We just took us a little snack yeah. break, about a 30 minute chat. Um, now we're back at it, we mixed everybody up. Now we got Rick and Ryan pressing on the camera yet again. Uh, this is awesome. Check out the views now where we are. Now we're up against the lake, walking the edge of it. And uh, give her a go. Go to old round two now. Boy, howdy, look at this view. Look at this. Oh, gorgeous country. So the Flint Hills, Flint Oak, is located in the Flint Hills. It's about two and a half hours east of my house, east of the lodge. So just gorgeous country out here. Lots of pasture, big, big watersheds, and a lot of good deer and pheasant hunting out here. Well, we got a point up ahead. Here we go. Good shot. There we go. Good little devil. That was that, that was killer. <laughs> them dogs are so cool. Keep pushing them out of there. Got a point up ahead. That was good. Made him spin in the air. <laughs> he did some gymnastic stuff up in the air. Awesome. I really hope I caught that on the shot cam. Here, here. He went straight up. He had to go, he had to watch out for that tree. That's why it was right there. Messing with you. Drew, Dan, and Lucky are all, uh, we all split up and kind of switched everybody around. That was them shooting. That was about, what, eight or nine shots? Yeah. <laughs> That you know that means one one thing, swings and misses, boys. I can talk crap now because I've been doing a lot better than in the beginning. So, Gerald, Drew, eat your words. Well, we got another point. He got it. He got it pretty bad there. Woo. Oh, shoot him, shoot him. Nice! Done the second shooter. Wow. But at least I didn't shoot him in the face. Yeah, I just, it was a knee jerk reaction. Oh, oh. Ay, ay, ay. Look at that. Well, we wrapped her up, done with the pheasant hunt. I wanted to show you guys this. I gotta talk real loud. <laughs> Gotcha. It's silver. Oh, look at the puppies. Hi there, puppies. Hi there. Some clean kennels. They got right at a hundred dogs. All working dogs. They rotate them around. It's nice. It's all clean. They keep it spotless. Literally, it smells like bleach in here. They keep it pristine. Hi, puppies. Oh, hi there, old boy. Hi, hi He's an old guy. Uh-oh, oh, now we're at right. the puppy house. The old puppy house, little puppies. Oh, man, I'm gonna wanna take one. Oh, Gerald. dude, look at him. Oh, look at him. Oh, hi there, puppies. Hi there, babies. Hi. Oh, boy. I can tell you right now, thank goodness Beth isn't here. She'd be, she'd be laying the money down on the table. Dog, yeah, right? seriously, yeah. she wants a puppy so bad now. <laughs> with the bad luck with Patty. Yeah. Oh, the old that, that, Patty was Beth's dog. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. They did everything together, yeah. and now she's like, "You're yeah, gonna have that. to replace her." And I'm like, yeah. "I know, I know." Yeah, that's what you need. Good pointer. I know. So I ought to get into it. This morning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I need to. I'm gonna think about yeah. it. Be versatile. Yeah. Yeah. Do you need some dog food? Wow. Look at that. Crazy. 
So they go through like three or four bags a day here. As you can tell, they're stocked up with Purina. Did you have fun? I had fun. This was a great spot. And uh, God, we saw, we saw, we got quail and we got pheasant, we got chuckers. It was beautiful. Watching the dogs work is always awesome. We loved it. The it dogs did a great job. Oh, they're fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. I've never, Gentle. I've never got to work with dogs mm -hmm. like that. Or you know? just machines too. Machines. You know? I mean, it's like their sole purpose in life. You're like, can you pet them? Like, no, I'm working. Get away from me. <laughs> yeah. Right here. Yeah, right here. Right here. Let's go show them the brisket first. Oh yeah. Let's go show them that. Oh yeah. We're back at the lodge. Flint Oak was amazing. Let me tell you. First of all. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to Press, not only Preston, but everybody at Flint Oak uh, for providing that for not only myself, not only for Drew, not only for Gerald, but for Federal. Uh, they provided two nights stay and an awesome, awesome upland hunt. What do you got going on? Uh, well, the chef at Flint Oak gave us a little Wagyu brisket. Wagyu brisket. Yep. It is not cheap. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not cheap. Put this on about midnight last night it's almost been 12 hours we had to smoke it at uh, 180 and then cranked it up a little bit because it was so cold last night but oh my lord look at all the juices <laughs> god oh, it's gonna be a good one oh so the ducks guys get in tonight old bonds daddy old banjo we got uh we already got brad from ducks here uh, we got Mendak coming. The Mendak brothers will be in tonight. This is tonight's meal. We're doing three days of hunting with all the boys. And there's five clients in. It's going to be busy. I think there's going to be 15 people total, including me and Gerald and Drew. It's going to be a party. Don't miss it. Again, big shout out to Flint Oak. Amazing accommodations. If you guys have ever wanted to go to the hands down best pheasant hunt, lodging, experience, uh, being taken care of um, check them out check them out you will not be disappointed it's a beautiful place to take the wife it's a beautiful place to take the family or just a group of buddies but thank you all for being here subscribe if you haven't let me know if you want to see more pheasant hunts I had a good time it's been years since I've got out and, and pheasant hunted so I had a good time and I want to do it again be sure to drop a comment down below if you liked old P. Diddy's editing and yep, filming. Yep. Don't make me feel bad. Don't make me feel bad. <laughs> no, he, he does way better than me. But until next time.